Hi, career aggregation is one of the important concepts in 5G NR, and it is helping to combine different frequency carriers and achieve the multi gigabit 5G data rates, which are defined by ITU. So we have seen in LTE, there were a uh, limited carrier spacing that is 20 megahertz maximum achievable, and we had maximum 32 components that can be achieved in case of 4G. Now in 5G, as we have to achieve 20 times more data rates in case of 5G NR at cell level, we have to accordingly plan that there must have some kind of aggregation with the different carriers that is possible in 5G NR. For any telecom operator, it is possible that we wouldn't get a contiguous spectrum altogether to provide a 20 Gbps at a cell level. So what can be done in that case? In that case, different Carriers can be picked up from different frequency range we have seen during the spectrum slide. We have FR1, we have a millimeter wave, which is FR2. We can pick and choose different carriers that are available and aggregate them to achieve the peak data rates that are defined. So there are different combinations that is possible. Either we can have the interband carrier aggregation where we have two different frequency bands. And within that, we have two different carriers picked up. So say, for example, we have um, 800 or 1800 band. So we pick up the 10 megahertz from 800 band and 20 megahertz from 1800 band, and we just aggregate them so that we can provide better speeds in that case, in conjunction with other carriers also, because then we only achieve the maximum throughput that is required. So we can have multiple carriers. So one possibility could be we have a contiguous carrier aggregation within band one, say for example, we have a millimeter wave. So we just pick up uh, one contiguous band from uh, say the for 50 or 100 megahertz straight away in continuity. Or it could be possible that within millimeter wave, if we are not getting a contiguous 100 megahertz, what we can do is we can pick up two different 100, 50, 50 megahertz of chunks and then aggregate together. So there are different possibilities that are available in 5G to aggregate the different carriers so as to achieve the multi-gigabit data rates. Now on the right side, if you see, this is how in the at the protocol level, we have the carrier aggregation to be done at the MAC layer. And we'll talk about that during the next section of protocols. So at the MAC layer, what will happen is whatever the different kind of carriers that is being allocated and being used, those will be aggregated at the MAC layer and multiplex together to provide the peak data rate. Thank you.